Three students sorted recyclables from three trash dumpsters. The weight of recyclable material from each dumpster is listed below. Find the total weight. Notice how the weight is given in pounds and ounces. To determine the total weight, we add the ounces and we add the pounds, but if the number of ounces is 16 or more, we have to convert the ounces to pounds and ounces. So let's first determine the total weight by organizing the weights in a table. Let's have a column for the ounces and a column for the pounds. We have 12 pounds, 8 ounces, 15 pounds, 9 ounces, and 19 pounds, 14 ounces. And now let's go ahead and add the ounces and add the pounds. For the ounces, 8 plus 9 plus 14 is 31. We have 31 ounces. And for the pounds, we have 12 plus 15 plus 19, which is 46, giving us 46 pounds. So the total weight is 46 pounds and 31 ounces. But again, since the number of ounces is 16 or more, we have to convert the ounces to pounds and ounces. Let's write this total weight as 46 pounds plus 31 ounces. To determine how many pounds are in 31 ounces, we need to determine how many 16s are in 31. And there's only one 16 in 31 because 16 times 2 is 32. So we can write 31 ounces as 16 ounces plus 15 ounces. And let's go ahead and do that. 46 pounds plus 31 ounces is equal to 46 pounds plus 16 ounces, which is one pound, plus 15 ounces. Again, 16 ounces plus 15 ounces is 31 ounces, but 16 ounces is equal to one pound, and therefore we can write this as 46 pounds plus one pound plus 15 ounces. And since 46 plus 1 is 47, the total weight in pounds and ounces is 47 pounds, 15 ounces. We can leave this as 15 ounces because 15 is less than 16. I hope you found this helpful.